continuation of the wedding ceremony between an Aquaibum lady and a Nedo man, between Gloria and Vincent. On the platform, we brought you away previously the traditional wedding ceremony held in the Brightfellas compound in Aquaibum State. Thereafter, they came down to Benin City to have a grand reception at the couple's residence. Today we are bringing you away the blessing of marriage as they both went to church to be blessed by God so that their home can indeed be covered and sheltered by God himself. That's our package for you today. Please subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Our phone number is there on your screen. Give us a call. We travel around the globe. Wherever your event may be, just give us a call. We'll be there to cover your event. Straight on to the blessing of marriage between Gloria and Vincent. To have a view. It was the blessing of marriage between Gloria and Vincent as the man of God minister and the rafter bless the marriage proper. People lack understanding of the mystery of marriage. That's why they, they enter into marriage and leave God out of the equation. For purpose, it is never late to be right. Marriage must have God at the center. That's why no matter what was done in the time of ignorance, at the time what has not you do everything possible to get God at the center. It's a who finds a wife, no matter at what age or what stage, finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And obtains favor from the Lord. Now, stages of contracting marriage. Number one, find who your heart likes, who your heart is in agreement with, someone you share compatibility with, that you are willing to share your life with. Number two, taking step to go to the family that gave back to the lady and present yourself and they see you and they now tell you what and what is required to formalize the marriage according to the native law and custom. Heaven recognize that in the time of Isaac, there was no church. <laughs> there was no pastor, there was no church. What Isaac did was to go and pay dowry. And the wife was released to him. But better lights have come our way in our own time. Because a woman is created to live from the hand of the biological father to the hand of the husband and now become a father. That's why right. in the traditional marriage setting, they still do the father formally when she satisfied that he has received dowry. That dowry is a medium of exchange of authority. It's not about that that daddy cannot pay for a full grown woman with, that are not given all these uh, children, no. Can't pay, but it's just to show that the family is recognized. And to honor the lady that you recognize that she came from a family. Now, upon receiving that, the father will now officially transfer authority by running over her to officially. You know, some people get into relationships and they begin to have, they have children, but there was no transfer of authority. So the man is there with the woman, but has no authority. Because authority was not transferred. So people wait, watch, to start the high point of traditional marriage. They transfer of authority. The woman will come and show, okay, who did you say you are bringing? Okay, can we prove it by taking either drink or whatever? Go on, Abby. Now, 
the man will now, the father will and now formally hand that over. Sir, many are into this thing without that formal hand over. They will not hand over. So they have no authority over the woman. They may be saying they can enjoy the same thing happen, but they will not transfer authority. Then after that has been done, you now present the one that the father has handed over to you for the heavenly father, which is the ultimate father, to put a seal of authority. That's where we need blessing. It is not about the wearing of the garment or the whatever that is it. But now, what is done when marriage is blessed is for God to put a seal of authority and to put a seal of favor. Because one thing that God placed on marriage is favor. You have not seen people before you were like, because it's a whosoever find it. This is not your father. Mm -hmm. You were not there with a woman, but now you are there with a wife. <laughs> That's why they didn't have mercy on you today. <laughs> hey, hey, for the insults. <laughs> and thank God you paid that price. Yes. Amen. I'm proud to do the So I'm going to pray now as a priest in the commission of the liberation under my spiritual father, the apostle of this commission. God's servant Bishop David to you. I am the I'm standing in the priestly office to activate heaven's authority over this marriage. The clergy prayed for the family. Precious family, thank you for your son and your daughter that have recognized that without you they can do nothing. It is never need to be right. When the fullness of time came. The Holy Spirit prompted them to put things right and they obey. Lord, let the new chapter open in this family from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I am praying that a seal of your blessing, go your hand, the seal of your authority come afresh on this one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, let it be that from this day I decree that the covenant of marriage is activated spiritually upon this your precious son and daughter. Having obeyed the injunction of scripture and they have paid the price required of them and the authority have been transferred fully. Let heaven confirm that authority Amen. today. Amen. Endorsing this marriage in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, they are not ashamed to do this right. Let heaven always be on standby to back them up. This marriage, nothing will come in between them. Amen. The spirit of asunder will be found from this marriage. A new chapter of love, a new chapter of blessing, prosperity. Amen. They will live long together. Amen. They will live long to see the children grow up and they will have a children, children, Amen. according to scripture. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because who so find the right find the good and obtain favor from the Lord and let the marriage honorably Lord. Let favor and honor begin to answer in this marriage on daily basis. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Better understanding. Better love. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. And so in the name of the Father.
the next day was the Thanksgiving service of the traditional wedding ceremony between Gloria and Vincent. It took place at Living Faith Church, Winners Chapel, as everyone gathered together to sing praises to God Almighty. The clergy gave his message. Yeah, if you don't have anybody standing to prophesy to you, if you have a good value for the book and sit down with the word of God, you will discover what is written concerning you. In spite of all the prophecy that was given concerning Jesus, he started to embark on an adventure in the world. In spite of the anointing on his life, Prophecies went forth before he was conceived, before he was born, but he took an adventure. He went fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Luke chapter 4, verse 1, down to 14, he returned the power of the period to uh, the Jerusalem, and his faith was prayed through out of the region right about. Then, in verse 16, he went on a discovery mission. Verse 16, Luke chapter 4, verse 16. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. You cannot know the world if you are not a reader. If you are not someone that has value for studying the book, you, you don't know the world by assumption. That's why you can wake up and tell you everything, anything. And you take it as well. You have saved the Lord. And you believe that because the person has shaken, uh, the prince shaking his head that he has heard from the Lord. Or he can't even run and he has heard from the, from the Lord. No! Hear this. Why do you have a problem that? For the word of God, you cannot be confused. Because in the volume of the book, Jesus discovered himself in the book. He stood to read. And in verse 17, the Bible says they, they, they delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. In the book called the Bible, there is a place where something is written concerning the things. And which we can read verse 21 together. And he began to say unto them, This day is this picture to say in the Now, he was so persuaded that he has found it. He said, This day, this thing that was being prophesied, I have found it, is free. So many are holding on to the prophets as it were. But they have not found anything in the book called the Bible that may 
bring them in fulfillment of what they are holding on to. If you are believing God for intervention in any aspect of your life, please go on a finding mission in the book. There is something written concerning that issue in the book. Waiting for your discovery. The day you discover it, align up with the condition attached to it. There is no death on that has come from coming to pass. I have found it in the book that this church will be so will so grow. It will be the major place that the devil will be humiliated. There is something written concerning your marital life in the book. There is something written concerning your financial life. If you are struggling in any area, you are weeping in any area, go on an adventure. Go and find it. There is a solution in the book. It is now time for the newly word to dance out in appreciation to God Almighty. <laughs>
It is never late to do what is right. He went and did what is right and he came back with just celebrating. I am now recovered from the testimony. Hallelujah. We have entered into a new realm. Please, all the men listen to me. Sit down with the woman you are camping with and calling your wife to wish your mom pay the bread price. Reach out to the family. Get to the village and pay the bread price. Let the father of the lady you call your wife hand over. You are living with her, but you have no authority over her. Because the father of no man gave no over to you. A woman is created to be under authority. Of the biological father when she is here to marry, and at the point of marriage, the father hand over authority to the woman, who now becomes a husband and a father and has full authority over her. That's what happened when you pay the bread bread. Until you pay the bread bread, that authority has not been handed over. Did you hear me? After they did that, they came to my office and blessed me. Is it clear? He has a seal of heaven. There was a formal transfer of authority. And then he put a seal of authority. Hallelujah. Right from the floor. Praise the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Mr. Mrs. Senior. Everybody in the congregation, rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and speak to God. Let God know you are grateful for his faithfulness. Though no, your time you is in your hands, you take before God. Father, we can't pay you. We have done the same thing. For so Jesus the mighty name. In the name of Jesus. I thank God for successful marriage. Now today is the Thanksgiving. Yeah. So we all came down to the church for the Thanksgiving. So I thank Almighty God for making everything possible, for making everything successful. And I thank all the people who supported me for this marriage, all my family, all my friends, and well wishers who came to the marriage. I thank all, every one of them, both my family and my wife family, who are, we thank God for all of them. So we thank God, we thank God. God, God, God be the glory. God will continue to, you know, bless their marriage. God will continue to answer their prayers, their heartfelt prayers, and I wish them all the best. Welcome back. That was indeed the blessing of marriage between Gloria and Vincent. It was indeed a union that was blessed by God. A successful marriage has to be founded on the basis of God. First, they went to church to cement their relationship and that's exactly what we just saw right here on the platform okay please that's what we call it a wrap on today's broadcast we want to say a very big congratulations continuously to the newly wed it's of course a new journey all together right on that's what we call it a wrap on today's broadcast we want to say a very big congratulations to the newly wed Thank you so much for deeming it fit to bring God into your home. God first in everything you do. Okay, until we come away again, don't forget to like and share our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Our numbers are there on your screen. Give us a call ahead of your event. We will be there no matter the distance to cover your events. Until we come your way again with yet another beautiful package. I remain sincerely yours for Milayo Okura for Don't Stop Watching Jack TV because we have a whole lot lined up already for you.